In this episode, due to high demand, we are going back to February 2020 when me, Shami, and Jaden went over to the States for their combined birthday in Vegas. Now, I'll sort of be talking about that entire trip, so this could be a two-part series, otherwise this video just could go forever. Hey guys, my name is Justin. Welcome to this episode of Show and Tell, the series where I show you guys some of the behind the scenes and tell you some of the stories of some of the videos that I've been a part of. All right, so jumping back to early February in 2020, this year is always a crazy time of year for us. Basically, we go from Christmas and New Year's straight into all of our birthdays. Our older brother, Kailash, his birthday is on the 22nd of January. Four days later is Australia Day. Five days after Australia Day is Shami's birthday. And then another four days after that is Jaden's birthday. So basically, this time of year is always a complete write-off for you and you know this year we ended up in Vegas. Now the funny part is we weren't actually planning on going to Vegas at all. We started filming a vlog trying to plan an activity to do for their birthdays and we came up with an idea to do a bit of a spin the wheel and originally we were going to just be choosing a bunch of activities on there and Jaden sort of mentioned instead of just doing an activity uh, why don't we actually just like go somewhere. How about we go away instead of just doing activity? Go away. Go away. Yeah, instead of just doing like... Yeah, that could be cool. I'm yeah. down for that. All right. Yeah, yeah we... Yeah. So we started filling out the circle. Then Andy and my older brother came in. They didn't realize it was all Australian places we were doing. So their ideas came along and they're like, oh yeah, let's go to Fiji. Kalash is like Greece. We <laughs> didn't do it overseas. I thought yeah. this was an Aussie thing here. Yeah. Are we going to Aussie or are we going overseas as well? Yeah. Who's funding this shit? <laughs> At this point, the names were already on the wheel and we were mid filming. So we kind of just rolled with it for a bit. Vegas ends up on there, Bali ends up on there. And we're just like, this is escalating pretty quickly if we're going overseas. So we decide, all right, we only get one spin and whatever it lands on is what we're doing. All of a sudden... Vegas, baby. So at this point, we're all a bit confused. It's like, is this actually happening? And I know in our heads, all of us were all thinking, is everyone else actually serious about this? And no one was willing to say anything while the cameras were rolling, but we're all just thinking, wait, are we actually? Who wrote Vegas? <laughs> After that bit of excitement, the cameras stopped rolling for a bit and then we all asked each other, it's like, wait, so are we actually gonna do this? Because if we're not gonna do it, it's pointless continuing this vlog the way it's going. So I jump on the phone and call Cassie and basically say, hey, this situation has just happened. Can I go to Vegas? <laughs> and Cassie was good about it. At first she was just like, wait, what? She came to, let's be honest, she's probably stoked that I got out of the country for a bit and she had some alone time without my extra washing and dishes, all the other burdens that are me. So that was it. I was good, Shami was good, and Jaden, all his commitment was was his soccer game that weekend, so he just had to cancel that one game. And he was expecting a baby to arrive at any given moment. So his nine-month pregnant wife wasn't really keen on Andy going, so Andy didn't end up on that plane. That tone wasn't, you can go if you want. <laughs> oh, I'm not taking that risk. That was it, there was at least three of us, so we're just like, all right, let's book it. And that's when we made one of our first big mistakes for this trip, this moment right here. Oh. <laughs> Showing our booking reference number on camera. Now, I didn't realize at the time how much power you could have if you have that booking reference number. But turns out that is all you need to be able to control any of the details on the flight. This vlog was only posted 12 hours before we were getting on a plane. 12 hours. And by the time we got to the airport the next morning, we went to check in and all of a sudden we find out the news that our booking had been cancelled three hours earlier. What do you mean our booking's been cancelled? By who? Well, you guys cancelled your booking like three hours ago and we're just like well, no we didn't we go over to the Qantas desk actually you know what stuff it I'm gonna say it Qantas dealt with this situation really badly so someone behind the counter knew who we were and thought this whole thing was a big prank and I think their line of thought was along the lines of oh we, we tried to be sneaky cancel our flight right before getting on the plane to get our money back from the flight and we're just like what are you talking about? Anyway, long story short, they were saying, oh no, we can't reinstate your seats because they might have already been taken. And basically told us the only way we can get back on the flight is to purchase new seats. And by the way, these flights were now a few hundred dollars more expensive than they were the day before as well. Now with the canceled flights, we were going to be getting our money back out of that, but included with that comes a couple of hundred dollar fee to get your money back. So we were out about $700 a ticket because of this stupid mistake. We decided not to vlog any of that at the time because whoever did this was obviously trying to get some recognition in that vlogs and we were just like nah fuck it we're not going to give them any sort of recognition that they want so we decided to leave the whole part out but here we are two years later and uh now i'll tell the story of that one so that first hour of being at the airport turned the vibe from really high into like just 
really cracking the shits. We just got on that plane and, uh, and sunk a few drinks on the plane, basically. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Squarespace. No matter if you're selling a product or a service or you just want a website as a portfolio or a blog, Squarespace has a range of templates that you can use no matter what you're after. They now have a range of whole new features as well, which includes member areas, a dedicated area for restaurants and hospitality, plus one of their latest features, which is their video maker, where you can easily edit your own videos to have on your website right from Squarespace itself. They offer a free trial, so you can basically build your website without having to pay a cent. But once you're ready to publish and go live, then use code Jushin at checkout and you're gonna get 10% off any plan. Thank you. Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making my life easier when it comes to my websites. Back to the video. So anyway, after a long, dramatic and painful start to the trip, we finally made it to LA. Obviously, we didn't have time to plan anything. And we pretty much just drove around the entire area of LA for like that first day. And we ended up just booking some dodgy little motel for the first night. You're kidding, aren't you? <laughs> we're not staying here, are we? <laughs> because we're just like, oh, I'll find somewhere for the first night and then deal with everything tomorrow. And because we're all just so jet lagged and tired, we were all a little bit on edge. Don't get me wrong, we were having fun, but we were all just really on edge for that first first day and of course what does Jaden do he quickly goes in there and does a massive turd in the toilet and decides to not flush it <laughs> you honestly don't even deserve this place leaves a fucking back turd in the toilet <laughs> And as southern as we all were, we're just like, well, no, I'm not going to flush it. I'm going to leave it too. I'm pretty sure that shit stayed in the toilet the whole first day until the cleaners obviously came the next day. But look at this seat cunt as if I'm going to sit on your piss. <laughs> That is fucking revolting. Luckily, the next day, the trip started to turn around a little bit better. We sort of started to have a plan starting to come together. There was this guy named Mike Snedgar. And as it turns out, he watches our videos and was a fan of our stuff. And he messaged us on Instagram, basically just saying, hey, so you're coming to Vegas. I want to put you up in one of the best hotels in Vegas and take you out to lunch one day. And at first, when you receive that, you're like, okay, come on, one of the best rooms in Vegas? Come on, like, what are we talking about here? Anyway, we clicked on his profile and first thing we see is like, a photo of him and Kim Kardashian together. I'm pretty sure it was. And we are just like, oh shit, maybe this guy is serious. So it turns out he's basically the guy in Vegas that uh, looks after all of the celebrities when they go there. So we were just like, holy shit, all right. So we get talking and he tells us that he's putting us up in one of the Westgate uh, penthouse suites, which is also known as the Elvis Presley suites. Because Elvis Presley actually used to live in that exact spot back in, I have no idea when, 60s, 70s, I don't know when he lived there. But when Elvis was living in Vegas, he lived in these penthouses. I'm pretty sure they cost about $65,000 USD a night to stay there, which in Australian dollars is like $100,000 a night. So we were just like, holy shit, <laughs> let's do it. So not knowing how all this had just pieced itself together, we were, uh, just two days earlier, we were in Brizzy, not even knowing what we were doing for the birthdays, to spinning a little fucking wheel, getting a flight to the States the next day, and then all of a sudden being invited to stay in like either the most expensive or the second most expensive room in all of Vegas. So all of a sudden this Vegas trip was getting a lot more exciting and Jackson and Lockie were also in the States. I think they'd just been out to one of the Jake Paul fights in Miami. So we all met up later that week to go to Vegas. We jumped on this like, it's not a private jet, but it's like a shared private jet in a way, I guess, where you're sharing it with, I don't know, it's like a 20 seater plane or something like that. So we were sort of scattered over the plane. We weren't all together. And where I got seated was next to, it sounded like they were Colombian or something like that. They literally looked like these full on mafia dudes with the slicked back hair and like the, the suits. Pretty much the whole mafia look they had going for them. And as soon as we took off, they called over one of the air hostesses. I think they gave her like 500 bucks and basically said just to keep bringing drinks every like five to 10 minutes. The air hostess obviously just assumed that I was with them. So when she brought the drinks, uh, there was three on the tray and she put one down in front of me as well. And I was just like, oh, they didn't really speak English, but they just looked at me and said, you drink, you drink. <laughs> and I was just like, all right, I'll have a drink then. And, and then they would just go about doing their own business, whatever they were talking about in another language. Five minutes later, another round of drinks came. And once again, there was three. So they're just like, drink. So I downed my first drink, started on the second one. In that half hour, I think I ended up having like six drinks. After my half hour flight with these Colombian mafia, I'm gonna call them. I was pretty merry by the time I got off that flight and all the boys were just like, how much have you had to drink? So I told them the story. I've had like six drinks in that half hour flight. <laughs> oh, hi guys, I'm your new filmer. Uh, welcome to Josh and Vlogs. So as soon as we landed, my Vegas trip was on. 
As for the rest of the Vegas trip, we're going to save that for next week. Tune in then. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this, all I ask is leave a like and a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. We're well on our way to 100,000 subscribers at the moment, so I want to try hit that as soon as possible. And if you've got any requests of videos you would like to hear the stories behind, then uh, comment them below as well, and I'll get through as many as I can over the next couple of months. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs> get off my bed. You honestly don't even deserve this place.